Today we will demonstrate how to adjust correction collars and iris diagrams on various objectives. Many objectives have correction collars that should be adjusted to achieve the best image quality. It's as important as focusing onto your sample. If you see that an objective has an evenly spaced value marked above a knurled collar or simply has an adjustable ring, it is most likely an objective with a correction collar. If it's your first time using the objective, you should ensure the correction collar is adjusted for your sample. Here we see a few examples of objectives with correction collars. The first two correct for thickness of material being imaged through, for example, glass and plastic. The next objective has correction for temperature, and the last objective has a motorized correction collar. The first objective we'll look at is a 20x long working distance objective. The correction collar can accommodate between 0 and 2 millimeters of glass or plastic to be imaged through. Here we see the correction collar being adjusted between the two extremes. With the objective in place, we will focus onto our sample. Once in focus, we'll take an image to compare to once the collar has been adjusted. We'll now start adjusting the correction collar while looking at the live image. The inset shows the adjustment you will be making in real time. With the live image, we can find the best position for the collar. We can capture a final image and now put the two images side by side and see the improvement the adjustment of the collar gives us. As you can see, the corrected image is sharper and clearer, making this a vital adjustment for the microscope. Without doing this adjustment, you are not taking full advantage of your microscope's capabilities. We recommend doing this adjustment every time you use the objective. This ensures that you have optimal image settings. The next objective we'll look at is a 40x high NA objective which has cover slip correction. Seen here, it has markings of 0 0.11, 0 0.17, and 0 0.23 millimeters. These values represent the thickness of the cover slip being corrected for. As with the 20x, this is an example of the ring being twisted. Again, we'll focus onto the sample and take an image for comparison after the adjustment. We'll once again adjust the correction collar while viewing the live image. The inset is also demonstrating the adjustment being made. After finishing the adjustment, we will take a second image for comparison. As you can see, the adjusted image is much better quality. Be sure to always use a cover slip sample with this type of objective. It's also important to note the type of cover slip on your sample so you know what the collar should be set to. The last objective we'll cover today is the 63x 1.4 NA objective. This objective has an iris diaphragm for the adjustment of the effective NA. By adjusting this iris, the NA of the objective can be adjusted from 0.6 up to 1.4. By looking down the barrel of the objective, we can see the iris open and close as the collar is twisted. With the iris open, we'll take an image for comparison. Now, while live, we'll close the iris to lower the effective NA. After taking a second image, we can now compare the two images side by side. By decreasing the NA, we increase our depth of field, but lower the resolution. You can see the image on the left has better resolution, while the image on the right has more in-focus features. Another method for adjusting the iris is to view the intensity of the light coming from the objective. When at the maximum brightness, the iris is fully open. Thank you for joining us today, and please make sure to always check your correction collars.